Hey guys, this is Gonis Kara here with another Guardian Tales video. And in today's video, I'm talking about Hero Reset Stones because they're the most important resource here in Guardian Tales. And we're getting one here soon. So in the next patch, it is confirmed that one will be available for us to have. And if you are not familiar with how they work, what they do is they literally take a character, as you can see right here, uh, it says proceed with Hero Reset. You actually come to the character right here. You go uh, press that button and then proceed with hero reset. So the hero's level will be initialized and use and all user ex experience will be returned. Hero's awakening will be initialized and all used awakening stones and gold will be returned. And then hero's limit break will be initialized and all used hero crystals will be returned. Then the unique he or hero special. So th there's a big reason why you really only want to use this on a unique hero. I know sometimes it sucks if you've really invested in a two-star hero that you want to use your hero awakening stone on them, but I highly recommend against it because uh, the unique hero specials returns all heroes evolution state to initial state so it goes from a five star down to a three star and all used evolution stones are returned as hero crystals so you get the perfect value back for each uh, evo um crystal you get it all back as hero crystals which is awesome so if you ever made the mistake of uh, for the most part this is a mistake but if, you, if this is like your first five star character i really don't consider it a mistake but what you could do is you could buy in the hero growth here see how you could buy the evolution stones for hero crystals so 20 of them gives you 40 of these i did this on a lot of characters i did this on bari like i just was impatient in the beginning i just really wanted to get the five star i i really mellowed out on it and i go, I go for like full farms now on heroes but the hero reset stone can help you if you really balled out on this um to get that character or whatever character let's say you actually like the character that you bought with these stones but there's another character you're not using that much um, that's a unique character you're going to get all of the like the full amount of hero crystals back so that's why when we go up here it's a 1280 because if you're familiar with limit breaking limit breaking is only 700 so we're getting even more hero crystals back than you normally would if you poured all those resources in to make sure that that character was fully limit broken so that, that's one of the main reasons why I like doing a unique hero when you're actually resetting instead of a natural two star. So let's go here to Elvira. If I wanted to reset this character, look, I only get 350. I'm only getting back the hero crystals of the limit break. That's it. I'm not getting these extra hero crystals from the perfect conversion because look, caution, evolution state of normal and rare heroes are not available and evolution stones will, are not returned. That's a big uh, big thing to point out here even though even if it's a character you don't use that much two stars actually do get used once you start rating you're going to use them to kind of fill out teams stuff like that like i use two stars all the time um so make sure when you're doing this you're resetting a ideally i mean like it's ideally a unique character you're not using and you have a character you can max up but the big thing to do though is now that you're getting 1280 Hero crystals. The big thing is like, let's say I pulled a new hero. Like I have May Real here. She's a four star character. I think a lot of people, what they'll do is since if they want a hero, reset that character, what they're going to do is reset. Let's say I want to reset Beth, which I think is a horrible idea. Beth is an amazing character. So I want to reset her. Um, and I now have 1280 hero crystals. Don't make the mistake of buying the hero evolution stones to force the character. You're going to max limit break with those resources up to five star. They make sure that the character you're going to do farm it the long way in the evolution dungeon. I know it sucks, but make sure you farm it or have a character already farmed ready five star and then take those extra uh, hero crystals and max limit break that character. That's what you should do with this. Uh, it's going to help with, with the potential mistakes of buying uh, too many um, evolution stones back in the past and it's going to the whole intention of this besides just potentially what even let's say you played perfectly you did everything great um, this is just a good way to take a character you're really not using and then now put all those resources on a character you can use right now it's going to give you immediate benefits in arena all that stuff so like for example what um, to give you guys kind of like a story on how I use my hero crystals I've used them twice so the first one, I actually did a video on a long time ago uh, on why a hero reset uh, Marina. And the reason why I did that is because I had, this was right when the training room came out. So on the same patch with the hero reset crystal, the training room came out. And the training room is very important. This is the main thing you should prioritize, just getting three characters fully limit broken. So what I ended up doing is I had kind of everyone spread out. Like I had um, one hero fully limit broken, 
I had uh, Nari fully limit broken, Bianca fully limit broken, then I had Agma not really all there, and I, I want to say he was like level, I mean, they, a couple off of limit broken, and Marina was a couple off limit broken, because Agma was so good that I just stopped farming Marina. So what I ended up doing is just resetting Marina and poured all those hero crystals onto Agma to then, boom, have all three Bianca, or Nari, Bianca, and Agma all ready to go, and then I was able to put Future Princess day one into the training room. That was a big thing to do because of that hero crystal, so or because of that hero reset stone, I should say. So that that's one of the main reasons why you want to use it. But the first thing is make sure it's on a unique hero and make sure you're not buying stuff from the hero evolutions shop. Just save it. Don't even use it because this is such an important currency that it, uh, you really want to make sure you do this right. Because uh, you you only get we're only going to get one of these. It looks like we're on pace to get these like once every three months or something like that. Um. And then the specific characters to Hero Reset, I, I really don't want to give advice on that um, over comments or whatever. The only way I would ever be comfortable giving advice on each individual Hero Reset would be uh, I would need screenshots or I would need to be able to be on your account and see everything to do that. So maybe that would be something I would consider like on stream, like do account reviews or something like that. But I need all the information if I'm ever going to consider recommending something that's that important. So feel free to answer down in the comments below, but I would recommend if you're going to do that, join the Discord, show me screenshots, and then I can really try to break it down and see if I can even give an answer. You know what I mean? And then last thing I want to do is I'm kind of debating on if like which character I'm going to use, assuming I even uh, want to use it on a character here, because I'm happy with a lot of my choices so far. Um, we have Lilith here in the Lilith here in the training room, but then all these heroes here are fully ready to go. But the uh, we have Veronica, uh, Lupina, like all these five star, all these natural three stars are five star, but they're not limit broken at all. Um, so I was thinking, because they, I feel like right now in the meta, if we look, there's most of these characters I use a ton. I really like the dark team, I really like light, and I really like my earth team. Um, I don't have Mayreal fully ready to go. And I don't have uh, MK99 ready to go. Both of those characters are amazing. And Lucy is also amazing too. So ideally, I'm going to try to figure out a way to max Mayreal. And then also max MK99. And by like farming one or the other, you know, like finish out the farm here. Um, but that, that, that's kind of my train of thought. Because I think both of those characters are absolutely amazing. Um, and then also, I don't have Ogma and I don't have Noxia ready to go. So... These two characters are really good for progression and other content that's not raiding. Like almost any kind of, like Coliseum, um, Camazon Zone, stuff like that. So not having a, either one of these two is really bad for my account. But um, for the most part, I'm able to get all the rewards. Like I, I just can't push that far, especially in the hard PVE content like Orbital Lift and Camazon Zone. Not having these two really hurts. And if I ever want to push like top 100 in Coliseum, um, not having uh, Noxia it uh, really sucks and maybe maxing her, you know, kind of like backing off on always having like really good raid teams. That might be something I, I'm trying to do, but there's really not that many characters I really want to reset besides the, the, the big one for me that I'm considering a resetting, to be honest, is going to be Eugene. I'm just really not a fan of her. Um, get 580 there. Uh, if I wanted to reset her, I, I really don't see myself ever max limit breaking her stuff like that. So if the, she's kind of on the hit list, on someone that would actually fully reset. Uh, that could be totally different for other accounts, but for me personally, I don't use her that much, um, so that uh, she might be the one. A lot of these characters I have, you know, it's just, I would love to be able to fully max limit break the dark team, but um, I, I just don't know how I'm ever going to get those resources. It just feels like there's always these new characters coming out, and these dark characters are good, and I like that I five-starred them, and I use them um, all the time for raiding, but... Uh, they're not meta defining. They're not like the, the uh, they're, they're good in Coliseum, but I have better characters for Coliseum like MK99 and Gabriel and all that stuff. So that's why I haven't really maxed out these two, even though I think they're really solid characters. Just for me, I just feel like I have way more invested and way better characters in these like Earth, this full Earth team and the full uh, Light team. If I had MK99, so that's why I'm not doing the dark characters. And then Veronica, I think, is good at five stars. I don't think I'm going to invest the full limit break, even though she's like god tier for rating. But the new Lucy character has a very similar effect to her, so both of them are going to be good. I might just want to fully invest in Lucy versus you know, finishing out her. So kind of um, 
there's a lot of choices but i just wanted to maybe hopefully that helped me kind of talking about my thought process and what i'm going to do with my hero um reset stone like kind of the things that i'm thinking about um but uh to personalize a little bit but at the same time hopefully my thought process actually helps i don't know uh i figured i would break down what i'm thinking uh personally when it comes to my account so Again, be sure to join the Discord and give screenshots if you guys have any questions about this. I just really wanted to talk about Hero Reset Zones because they're just so important. And I don't want to be like catching up to everyone's questions. I want to get way ahead of it. And it, we have like a week and a half until it's going to be live and we'll actually have this available so we can plan accordingly. And with that, guys, I am out. Peace.